Well, the Brooklyn home shooting and other violence involving children and teens has really put a spotlight on juvenile crime. And it's not just in Baltimore, but all across the state. Today, state leaders review justice reform laws and spikes in youth crime. And Miata Massey has much more from lawmakers as they question the Department of Juvenile Services now and its response to crime in our communities. On Tuesday, the Maryland Department of Juvenile Services released a 34 page report. The findings indicating youth crime in the state has declined over the past decade and currently only represents a small portion of overall crime. But the report confirmed a trend many of our communities have been seeing recently a stark uptick in car thefts and gun violence among young people. And it's a failing, in my mind, of all of us, a global failing. Failing of parents, schools, law enforcement, the juvenile justice system, everyone, including us here in the legislature. Today, state leaders raised questions on whether lenient laws are to blame for certain spikes in youth violence, particularly among repeat offenders. We have these examples of youth that commit a crime, sometimes serious, and they just kind of cycle through the system over and over and over. Under a new state law, in most cases, children under 13 cannot be criminally charged with a crime. Instead, they are diverted to support services and door put under state supervision. Maryland's Secretary of Juvenile Services says incarceration is not the only or most effective tool for addressing crime. If you formalize kids' cases, you sometimes do more damage. When we divert those cases, we track the data on them, and 85% of them don't get rearrested. Data also reveals youth of color are overrepresented within the juvenile justice system. Programs like Thrive Academy in Baltimore City and County will aim to target youth at most risk. And it will provide a very solid package of wraparound services with people from their communities to help divert them from this destructive path they're on. This is the first of several briefings on the topic. Lawmakers will use these findings during the next legislative session. I'm Iana Massey for WJZ.